Hello everyone. Don't mind. Don't mind the tears. Um. So about two hours ago at eleven eleven p.m. Sorry. My cat, Siren, passed away. Um, she was around my age, so she was getting old. So we, we knew, we knew this was coming and we had a feeling it was today. And last, last week, we took her to the vet um, and the doctor said that she had kidney disease, which, um, I'm pretty sure is pretty common for cats around her age to, to get, because she was around my age, she was like 13 to 14, so go, go figure, she's probably gonna pass. Um, We got her um, in September 2018, um, a month after um, my dad died. And me and me and Siren didn't get along well at first. <laughs> um, I don't know why she was just she didn't like me, I didn't like her. But I grew really attached, obviously, to that cat. And I'll just say she was the most, she was, she was the most chill and down to, down to earth cat I've ever met and never known of. Like, the way she acted and her attitude, it, she literally felt like she was a human. She wasn't immature, she was very, you know, you know, like, just mature. Um, and the last month, she was just, she just got, she got tired and weak. And as I said earlier, last week, my mom brought her to the vet and informed us of her kidney disease. Um, so she was just in my room the last, well, she, well, she's been living in my room for like a few months now, but she would like move around and everything. She was energetic. Um. But the last few weeks, she was just, I I have a, like a cat, like a little cat den. Not, not den, I don't know what to call it, but I have this cat thing under my table. I could probably show you real quick. Oh, by the way, I got LED lights. But under my desk, um, can you even see that? Right, right there, that thing. Um... She was sleeping in that the last all of la all of all of yesterday. But for the last few weeks she was just on my bed not moving and she couldn't eat because fucking obviously she has a kidney disease. Um but Hours ago at like seven, I just, I came in to check on her and she was just lying there. And I thought that that was it. I thought that she was dead. She wasn't, but, and I picked her up and she opened her eyes and like looked around. And 
I brought her upstairs. Um, a bunch of our, a bunch of my family came, and others from my family that don't live here came. And we just, we said our goodbyes. And she wasn't in too much pain at all. She was just uncomfortable. Sorry. I need, I need a tissue. Um, she was not in pain. She was just uncomfortable. And I had her in my arms for like three hours the last I, she was in my arms the last hours of her life and she died peacefully in my arms um as I said we, we knew this was gonna happen but it doesn't that doesn't it doesn't fucking matter it still hurts Um, and yeah, so, so rest, rest in peace, Siren. I love you.